how this is a demonstration of enhanced resort management project this is a innovative system that uh, automates the entire resort functionality through this web application here users may check various rooms available in the resort which ones are free for booking and which are not the free ones can be booked online and also it has membership facility the members can uh, you know all the members get 10% uh, discount on using the fa facilities of the resort so this also consists of an admin login where admin has overall rights of, of the system he can check and cancel user bookings as well as the resort hall bookings that users have made in the system so let's see how this works now so let's see the admin module first uh we'll log into the admin panel and its password so this is the admin panel where he can add new rooms to, to the hotel he can add uh, con or he can even add a member uh, add a member in the sense uh, the current existing user are being converted as a life member uh, so this is that module and so let's see the add room module first uh, so you can just uh, add new rooms by entering the room number so 203 might be the room number room type is uh, royal suite and the capacity is uh, 2 plus 2 and its uh, rate per night is uh, 12,000 and just click on add so this will add a room for you into the system uh, next is add a, add a hall or a conference hall to the system where uh, you have to enter the hall number like uh, it's uh, 208 and its uh, capacity is uh, 100 and its uh, room per day is 60,000 just click on add So next is uh, add a member module. So this converts uh, a current uh, customer into a life member. Uh, so you have to just uh, search its uh, search the customer's ID and click on search. So you can see that uh, the customer name was uh, shown to you. Uh, so you can just verify with it and then click on add to add this particular customer to, to a life member group so the customer has added successfully so next is a view room booking module uh, where uh, an admin can just view the room bookings and approve or disapprove them so this is the room booking and it's uh, it's pending so uh, he can just check the dates uh, uh, in the register or something and you can change its uh, status by entering the entering the id and click on search it will be uh, shown a panel where he can update the status of that booking and he can approve or cancel the booking or he can just keep it waiting and enter any details like if any cancellation then you will be alerted or something like that so we'll approve this booking and we'll say update and the status was updated successfully so next is hall booking a same way like room booking if anyone has booked a hall uh, you will be notified over here and uh, same way as room booking you can approve or disapprove them so next is a view customer module uh, where you can see the number of uh, customers uh, who has registered to your system and the view member uh, who has uh, the customers uh, who are the life member so this uh, so this uh, customer we currently added him to a life member group so you can see his detail over here so let's see the user module so let's go in customer login and we'll enter the details the password so you can see that this is the panel for a customer 
where you can see his details and uh, you can update any of this if you want so we'll go to a book a room module where you can just select uh, the type of room and check in and check out dates and a notification will be sent to an admin uh, so that this gets that this customer want to book a room for uh, for this particular room type so let's say I want a room called suite and my check-in date is uh, 30th and a checkout date is 31st and I will say book so this will send uh, a request for for a room booking to the admin uh, with my booking id is 1125 so I, I have to remember this uh, booking id if i want to check its status and all uh, so next is a book a hall module uh, where you can book a hall for a conference or or something so you can just uh, select the number of persons uh, presenting your conference or the meeting or something so you can see this so and the date uh, in the particular format so let's say 30 slash 0 0 7 slash 2015 and what all you want to include in this uh, particular conference uh, so you can just say breakfast and lunch so if you want to add this uh, two types uh, you can just uh, select veg or non veg what kind of food do you need and a package uh, what kind of breakfast do you need normal deluxe or oil uh, according to that uh, the rates will be varying uh, so just uh, you can select anything and on calculate uh, it will show you the total amount uh, uh, what will be charged to you uh, so this is just an approximate cost uh, but uh, it includes uh, the calculation of 100 persons breakfast lunch and uh, and the cost of that uh, particular conference uh, hall so if you want to book this uh, you can just click on submit or else uh, if you don't want to book it you you can just leave it so I'll say submit so the hall has been booked and next we have is uh, room booking status so we where we can uh, check the room booking status so our booking id so you can see this uh, it's pending uh, but uh, but the previous uh, booking uh, which was approved uh, let's see the status of that so you can see this uh, my this booking id was approved uh, so next is uh, all booking status uh, where you can uh, check the um, check the status of the hall booking uh, same way as uh, room booking module next is cancel booking so you have to just enter the booking ID like this one and if you want to cancel the booking ID you just need to enter the reason and say update so let's say plan changed change and you can just write anything you want and say update you can cancel the booking for you so next is uh, booking details where it will show you all your bookings do the previous uh, booking details so this is how the system works, thank you.